Okay, so I just topped off this degas bottle with about three quarts of coolant. It all came out, you can see where it's stained here and on the engine, it was leaking out from the cap. This engine overheated. We're gonna figure out why. Now my coolant temperature is up at 230. And you can see that we're getting a lot higher on the gauge here. We've got 234. Okay, yeah, that's all I need to know. I'm shifting this thing back down in a second, get those RPMs up. I don't want to overheat this engine. So I'm heading back to the shop. I'm going to keep it in second gear. That's where we're at. And as long as that engine is moving a little bit higher RPM, it keeps that water pump pumping faster. It's turning faster, and I think that's what the problem is. I think we've got a dying water pump. All right, it's a beautiful Monday morning in front of the Ford dealership. We got our water pump, genuine Ford. I should probably go ahead and replace the thermostat with it. Let's do it right. That serpentine belt's got to come off. Let's get it from underneath. Fourteen millimeter wrench on the tensioner, and we can pull that belt right off. All right, back up top now. We've got to get that water pump pulley off. These are 10 millimeter fasteners. Let's go. Okay. All right, from underneath again, we've got the AC compressor and just above that, there's our water pump. We've got one bolt there on the left and two on the right, eight millimeter. Let's get them off. Now there's some timing cover bolts around that water pump. Don't take those off, you're gonna get an oil leak. I'm using a quarter inch ratchet and I gotta do this by feel. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of the power steering pump and the first bolt I come to, that's gonna be it right here. It'll be easier to grab these from down here because at least I can see them. Took the extension off for this second right one. That was no problem. And we'll come over here to get this bottom left one here. So I think I'm gonna gain access by removing this headlight. It's the easiest thing to take off. Power steering pump and other stuff is just kind of a mess. So let's see if we can go in through here. I've got all sorts of access into that water pump. There you can see it. Let's get this thing out of here. Got to put a bucket underneath it because we're going to lose a lot of coolant. Don't! All right, now I'm just going to give a screwdriver a twist right here. And we're going to get out of the way because it's going to start pouring on us. I'm just going to walk it off here. All right, I'm just using some of this dielectric grease. I'm going to put just a bit of that on my fingertip. That's going to go right here on this O-ring to lubricate it so it doesn't tear or roll as it's going in to the engine block here. The way these bolt holes line up, you can't get this wrong. All right, they're all snugged up. Now let's get the torque wrench. All right, this is gonna be 89 inch pounds, which is 10 Newton meters or 7.4 foot pounds. All right, and we can spin this little guy on there, just like we spun it to get it off. If you're doing it this way, you need to spin the pulley to the left, lefty loosey, because the bolts are going to go righty tighty. I don't know the torque spec on there, but I'm sure there is one. We're going to go with guten tight, a little snug. Don't go crazy. They're on there pretty snug. That feels good. 
No movement at all. The other one had some play. So this is much better. All right, I've got a Motorcraft approved water container. It's full of steaming hot water. I'm just using this to pour it over all the pulleys and everything because I don't want them to be contaminated with antifreeze. Okay, there's our water pump pulley. We're all done with that. Now let's move over here past the power steering pump and right in there. This whole housing is gonna come out and we'll get those hoses off. Got a longer extension here. Let's see if this will fit. Now I've got my pan underneath there to catch any coolant that comes out. I don't expect there to be much because we pretty much emptied it when we took the pump off. There will be a little bit. Oh, there we go. Heard a little bit of coolant hitting the pan down there. And still, I'm using this headlight location as a really good access point to get to these two hose clamps. Let's go ahead and pull these off. There we go. Okay, so this is the old thermostat. Okay, there's that. And it's got this rubber o-ring gasket it's part of the housing i'm just going to go in real quick here and clean around that outlet now pay attention to these marks here you want this hose clamp to fit right inside those marks so that you get a good seal and also this line here there's a white line on top of this hose it points to this little nub these need to line up okay and i've also got this clamp locked back so I can just push it on with my fingers here. All right, now that everything's lined up exactly where I want it to be, I can come in with this screwdriver, just give it a twist and I can release that lock. There you go. All right, so both of these clamps are lined up in the grooves. Let's go ahead and just pop this back in there. And we're just like that. A trick that grandpa taught me. Put that paper towel into the socket. You won't lose your bolt this time. All right, I'm gonna snug these up and we'll go in with the old torque wrench. And the first person who guesses the torque spec for these bolts gets a free price. No cheating. You have to make your comment before I tell you what it is. 89 inch pounds, 10 Newton meters. All right, let's get some more coolant in this thing. This engine takes G05, it's that gold color coolant. All right, let's give her a start. Looks good, let's take it for a drive. All right, we're on the freeway, doing about 65. Cooling temperature, looking pretty good, 203. All right, now we're just off the freeway here in slow city traffic. We're looking at 198 degrees, perfect. So I'm gonna reset the check engine light on this thing because it's fixed. Now, if you wanna see some of the other repairs that I've done, and boy, have I done a lot to this car, you can click the playlist right over there and get started.